Here at HEBT, we wonder how you easily design primers for 6,000 plex PCR. And with us is Francisco. I understand tonight there's a software demonstration. Absolutely, Dale. And you're going to be talking about AmpliSeq Designer, is that correct? Yes. What is AmpliSeq Designer? AmpliSeq Designer is actually a free website that we have to be able to do this design of the primers. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, automatically, all you have to do is put in gene information or coordinate information. Uh, you press the go button and the design gets done and it's ready to order. So if I have a simple bed CSV file, I can just upload that and I'm Absolutely. good to go? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's that simple. You just click on the upload button. That gets uploaded into a dashboard that you can re then review and off you go. And then as far as the uh, user interface and sort of advancements that you, improvements that you made to the software, what can you tell me about that? Well, we've been pretty busy last year. Uh, there is actually three main points that I wanted to mention for today. One is the introduction of 140 base pair solutions that now we are able to uh, provide to the users. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, you select the size of the, the, the Amplicon size that you want to select, and then uh, you do the calculation, and that solution is, is shown to you as part of the results page. And 140 bases refers to? 140 base pairs, it's good that you mentioned that. It's actually a, a size that is, has been shown to be pretty interesting for studies of uh, circulating tumor cells as well as cell-free DNA. I see. And, and these are really short just because the circulating or CTCs and for cell-free DNA tends to be small? Yes. Yes. Uh, we've, we've shown uh, in the lab that these are shorter size uh, DNA fragments and therefore having a shorter amplicon is actually a better strategy. That's correct. I now remember the half-life of cell-free DNA is relatively short. Is yes. that correct? I see. And then you mentioned you had three things to share. One yeah. was 140 base pair designs. That is what were the other two? The second one is actually a modification to the current customization strategy. In the past, when you try to customize a panel, uh, you would have to do a recalculation of the amplicon positions. And now with the new uh, customization features, we're able to preserve those positions so people don't have to revalidate their assays. And that's shown to be extremely powerful because not only can you reuse your designs that you've already done, but you can also use designs in the community or in the ready-to-use panels that you can also get information from. So these were designs that were already done by others for that same gene, is that correct? Yes. And you have pretty high confidence that it will work in the new design that you're putting together. Absolutely. I, I mean, see. because you're basically copying those ample compositions, there's no more need to revalidate what other people have done. I see. And the third one? The third one is, it comes to your ability to provide your own custom reference. Uh, in the past, we've worked usually with human and mouse. Uh, then we've done extended genomes now. These are preloaded genomes that people can use for creating designs. Uh, outside of human and mouse, so for example, cow uh, or tomato, for example. Uh, but to really open up the functionality of the designer, we've been able to allow basically any custom reference that you may have, just upload into designer. We actually have a new dashboard that people can manage their custom references as well and, and just get the designer going on those new references. So if somebody's working with a non-model organism, for example, a primate center might be working on the spotted manga bee, <laughs> they just have EST data, right? Yep. They can just go ahead and take the sequence data, limited though it may be, and just upload it yep. for a design. Yeah, I mean, we do recommend that you upload as complete of a genome as you can. Uh, that would help you trying to avoid mispriming, which happens the binding of the primers in non-specific regions. So as complete as it can be, uh, that would be the best. But yes, we, we allow that. That's great. So you mentioned a website that you're able to access this. Yeah, so the website is very easy to remember. It's ampliseq.com. That's A-M-P-L-I-S-E-Q.com. -E right? Uh -huh. <laughs> and, um, and it's basically all you need is to have a Life Technologies account. Mm -hmm. And with those same credentials, you can go in and go ahead and start using the designer. Great. Well, thank you for taking time today to share with us. No, no problem. My pleasure. Thank you.